Hey folks, in this video tutorial, you'll learn how to add a simple octave effect to any sound in Ableton Live. This is a great effect that adds a lot of high-end energy to your sound and it only takes seconds to do. Let me show you how. So folks, you can do this in any version of Ableton Live 9 or 10, intro, standard, or suite. I've got Ableton Live 9 standard open. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab an instrument rack and throw it down here. And then we're gonna grab for this tutorial a piano sound. So you're gonna have this piano preset in any version of Ableton Live that you've got. We're just gonna click and drag this grand piano into the instrument rack that we just created. I'm gonna minimize it here. Now it sounds like this. Okay, so now to add this octave effect, we're gonna to go to MIDI effects and grab this instance of chord. Now, click and drag it before the grand piano instrument in the instrument rack. So by default here, it's gonna sound the exact same. So here's what we need to do. We're gonna click on Shift 1 and drag this up until it says plus 12. Now it sounds like this. So the original note is still passed through, but Ableton is adding an octave above onto everything we play. This is a really easy way to give your pianos a little bit of a larger than life sound, and you can also add energy and top end brightness to pads, arpeggiators, even works really well on synth bass sounds. Now you can add more octaves to this if you'd like. You can go two octaves up. But I find generally that one octave up is sort of that sweet spot where it still sounds natural. It sounds like you're playing the piano, but it just adds a little bit of extra oomph. Now you can adjust the blend of these octaves in the box right below. So you could have that octave effect be a little less prominent if we brought this down to say 0.5. And then you could even put this on a macro in the instrument rack if you wanted to be able to dial it in at will. So this is a really simple effect. You can do this with any sound in any version of Ableton Live, and it's a great way to add extra top-in energy to your sound design. If you're using Ableton Live for your worship key sounds and you wanna make progress fast, I'll include a link in the description of this video to our done for you Sunday Keys for Ableton template. It's designed to make Ableton Live fun and easy to use and comes with amazing worship keys presets that are ready to play. So if you're ready to level up your Ableton Keys rig, check out that link in the description. And be sure to subscribe, like, and follow so you don't miss our next Ableton tutorial. Thanks for watching.